Hello and welcome to this episode of Scope. I'm Tracy Pa. In the heart of Papua New Guinea's Sipic region, where the land meets the river and the morning fog whispers of new beginnings, the EU Strait PNG program is igniting a transformation. In the remote heart of Papua New Guinea lies a region both enchanting and challenging, the Sipic. Here, the Sipic River flows like a lifeline through the east and west Sipic provinces, nurturing the land and its people with a rhythm that has endured for centuries. For generations, the people of the Sipic have lived in harmony with the environment, depending on the river and fertile land for their sustenance and livelihoods. Yet amidst this serene backdrop, there are challenges that have long impacted their daily lives and economic prospects. But change is on the horizon. The European Union's Straight PNG program is bringing innovation and opportunity to these resilient communities. By introducing sustainable technologies and modern practices, this program is transforming the traditional agricultural sector, offering new possibilities for growth and development. At the core of this program is the commitment to increasing productivity and market access for farmers. The EU Straight PNG program provides vital support by offering advanced processing equipment and innovative technology. For instance, farmers receive state-of-the-art drying kits for cocoa, including clean pipes, drying beds and flue pipe chimneys made of durable stainless steel. Vanilla producers benefit from solar-powered dryers, enhancing the quality and marketability of their products. Ali Said Yesu, Program Coordinator for FAO, highlights a pivotal innovation. Solar Combination Cocoa Dryers These dryers use both solar energy and fuel, significantly reducing fuel consumption while improving the uniformity and quality of cocoa beans. This advancement not only meets international quality standards, but also boosts Papua New Guinea's presence in global markets. The reason for combination is they work both on solar and whenever there is enough sunlight, you know, in the cloudy season, rainy season, they can also use some fuel. But the, this innovation, this technology reduces the amount of fuel substantially by relying mainly on, on solar. So not only that, actually it is main target objective is to dry the beans uniformly and improve the quality of the dry beans that are again meant for export markets. You know, what we want to achieve in this program is to make the cocoa from Papua New Guinea meet the international global quality standard and compete in the global marketplace. In the Wasaragawi district of East Sipic, local leader Moses Walikin illustrates the program's impact and the ongoing challenges faced by his community. Walikin, a ward member from Blamda, explains how the straight program has been instrumental since its inception in 2019. His involvement has been profound guiding his cooperative through agricultural improvements and capacity building. Threat program coming in 2019, and now me involved inside the threat program. Me put him over the information behind him, web the work, or threat program me require him law, me by meet him, government me require him by me meet him, so me put him over the profiles, blow me go through long all, all he can get to me as a threat sampler, this local cooperative, so. Now, I me start the work cacao. Now me start the work cacao. You go. Now only giving me plant this cool, blow work cacao. Okay, the work blow cacao. I me start extend the go out finish long all Narapla LLG Narapla district inside Long Isipik province. Now me got seven hundred palmas. Me got thirty pipe clusters. Now all is tap one to me. 
When bank officers visited the clusters, they provided training on cash flow management and banking. They discussed MeBank, which has opened many accounts for the clusters. However, the bank services are only available in the province, limiting farmers' access to banking services and affecting their financial management. So this law, you make him only a mass. Now, now yet only stop here. I'm only look, look. Strong law, work long, work cacao must improve him. Send down long, all long, help him all long school pay. Help him all long, send him send down the place long all. Now, this is a thing thing. Only a mile long end because this is a province is a big now. District you must have been set now on a meal to talk to Stavia and one blah district where attitude district long plan the travel fighting and we'll stop inside or so now travel fighting long district na LG na what blow me inside long north wasara south wasara and me reduced now despite these advancements Walikin acknowledges the persistent difficulties posed by rugged terrain and inadequate infrastructure Travel and transportation remain significant hurdles, often requiring long hours of travel and facing risks due to poor road conditions. Getting to the main road takes about 1 hour and 15 minutes. The three places are Kange, Mondu and Plamda. Moses provided comprehensive training to farmers in cocoa, vanilla and fish farming through the straight program. He received a cocoa combination dryer and is collaborating to expedite its completion despite the delays. Among the beneficiaries of this program are local women like Tricia Bakanda. Living on the boundary of Blamda and Mondu, Bakanda is deeply involved in processing cocoa and vanilla, supporting her family with the income earned from these endeavors. Teresa recounts the hardships faced by her community and the transformative effects of the straight program. Bless a kid of him, four o'clock. Four o'clock morning and bless a walk about and black go long. Jansen, lock a cigar. Lobuki being bless a walk about. So to let me black when no car, Lomi Blagolo Maprik. We bless a goal early morning yet, low night yet. Blagosidano, or carry come down there. Me black a lap no me black. The struggle for basic services is real for Bakanda and many others. Roads are in poor condition, and the journey to essential facilities can be grueling. But they go through these challenges all for the sake of their children's benefit. So, me like him was almost he works a good play education. Service too must come by anymore. Laos do have long old do. No, I say walk in so long. Kagao fan. So, beginning must come up in good place. Sit down, must sit down good. No can stop us and be poor time. Now time I'm saying this, so you meet him as saying this, now you miss it down. The EU Straight PNG program's impact extends beyond agriculture. It addresses the critical needs of rural communities, empowering them with knowledge and resources while highlighting the resilience required to overcome daily struggles. Through its support, the program aims to create a more prosperous and sustainable future for the people of the Sipic region turning challenges into opportunities for growth and development. The program stands as a beacon of hope and progress in the Sipic region, and it reflects the strength and resilience of the communities it supports, demonstrating how targeted interventions and unwavering dedication can drive meaningful change in the face of adversity. In the heart of Papua New Guinea's Sipic region, a transformation is taking place. The STRAT program, an ambitious integrated development initiative, focuses on enhancing the livelihoods of local communities through innovative approaches in cocoa, vanilla and fisheries.
Innovations are essential for driving transformation across various sectors, and the STRAIT program embodies this principle by introducing cutting-edge solutions to accelerate economic and social development in the CIPIC region. These innovations span processes, technologies, and products designed to address challenges, enhance efficiency, and improve outcomes across production, processing, marketing, and even policy making. The STRAIGHT program leverages innovation to tackle specific problems and optimize products and services. One notable example is the introduction of the FAO Theory Technique, a revolutionary fish processing method now implemented at 20 sites. According to Ali Saeed Yassouf, program coordinator of the STRAIGHT program, this method significantly reduces fossil fuel use enhances hygiene and improves fish quality, leading to better market prices and substantial benefits for local fishes. Take it that way. Every community in, in, in rural PNG, in riverine and coastal area, they use fisheries. It is their food. But they often struggle on how best they can keep their catch. They don't have the phrases. They don't have you know, some of the, the technologies that they need. They have their own way of smoking. You have seen it, a very rudimentary thing. They smoke it now for the family consumption, not even last two hours today. But the FAO tire technology is a very simple technology. Reducing the amount of fuel used results in less smoke, which is particularly important for the well-being of women. Women are frequently exposed to the harmful effects of smoke when smoking fish. By using less fuel, women can also save time in the fish smoking process, allowing them to dedicate more time to caring for their children and participating in other productive activities. This not only enhances food safety and hygiene, but also increases the overall efficiency and convenience of the fish smoking process. Like I, myself, I have seen, and they make more money. Remember, all these innovations I mentioned, ultimately, they improve the price when, when that is possible. They increase the income, and ultimately, it is meant to improve the livelihoods. The FAO, through the EU-funded UN Joints Straight PNG program, is empowering women's business groups in the Pacific region with innovative technologies like the FTT fish dryer. One such group is the Kandagapma Women's Business Group in Angora. Zilpa Yahamani, who is the Women and Youth Inclusion Trainer for the STRAIGHT program under the FAO component Food and Agriculture Organization, which is the lead implementing agency of this agriculture program in East and West Sibik. It gives an insight into how the program has helped and benefited these women. The program also offers comprehensive gender training sessions aimed at emphasizing the critical role of gender and inclusion in the development of value chains. These training sessions explore the intricate ways in which gender influences the lives of individuals, starting from the dynamics at the household level and extending into wider societal contexts. This focus is particularly pertinent in the context of working with farming groups as they are deeply embedded within their clan and business networks. The program is thoughtfully structured to empower farmer groups to effectively collaborate within their clan and business networks, recognizing the significance of gender dynamics in these interactions. We identify lead farmers, uh, SMEs, we pull them out, we train them, we send them back and then we hold hands with them and we work together to help the farmers. So that, that's how we have been working uh, over the last uh, three years. It's the fourth year now and the program will wind down. We have one more year to go, so that's next year. 
The Kandagapma Women's Business Group operates from a picturesque location at the Angaram Service Camp waterfront. This fishing site is nestled in an area known as Service Camp and is in close proximity to the expansive Ranwara Lake, which is seamlessly connected to the main Sipic River. This serene setting is a hub for an abundance of fish, which not only serves as a staple in the community's diet, but also contributes to their livelihood through sales in the local market. So we have identified this women group through one of their uh, uh, leaders, women leaders, uh, Miss Tina Savinio. We call her Mama Tina. When we come around here, Mama Tina. So we refer to her by that. So she organized this uh, women that live around this lake area. Um, fishing is their uh, livelihood. So they, they get fish daily, they go and they sell at the market. They sell at the market and then they go and buy their rice and tin fish and things like that. And every day they, they live like that. We advise them to follow the requirements of the program to organize themselves, uh, get their IPA and bank accounts, things done, and then they registered with the program. And then uh, that's how the fish team, they uh, identified them and chose them as one of the ideal uh, group in a community, fishing community, to have this fish dryer established in their location. As we continue our exploration, we will focus on Angoram, where women of the Kandagapma Women's Business Group reveal their experiences with the FAO Theroy technique. Their narratives highlight how this innovative fish drying technology has revolutionized their daily practices, boosted their incomes and significantly improved their quality of life. Witness the profound impact of this groundbreaking facility and the personal stories of triumph and transformation it has inspired. Union took the initiative to establish the fish drying facility aimed at supporting local women engaged in the traditional practice of daily fish sales. The primary objective is to assist these women in saving time, boosting their earnings and ultimately enhancing their overall quality of life. Tina Savinio, the leader of the Kandagapma Women's Business Group, shares her journey and how the FTT technology has transformed their lives. I have two places in the wet and dry season. So, wet season, I have to go to the wet season. 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 I have to go to the I'm going up to solo seven and go back. Me worry through seven, but go inside to seven and go inside. I'm marked to solo here, and I'm drop back. That made a good, okay, FTT safe. So we will build this FTT, okay? Or talk to me long. We put him off, or we put him off. Community, yeah, or girls. Me not be organizing more, me not be me only meeting one day more. No go to a group married too. So time will FTT o'clock come. All married willing to come, ask this and go ram. Na all community neighbors say all come. Only come a few long and five kin and five kin. Me to come and go put the diploma and five kin and five kin a few like giving me. Na time all o'clock me me be no go IPA me be no go IRC certificate me be no left it or kaput in pinis. All o'clock start the building foundation or come now. All me put the five kin and five kin mix the five kin and five kin long and make it two hundred fifty kin. Me go okay IPA. Or come you wait like some IRC tin I'm I'm long August now. I'm in September now opening now. May we will complete the work. May, June, July, work and finish. Tina was very appreciative of Strait's approach, especially in comparison to the government's strict requirements. 
Unlike the government, which demands an IPA and IRC and insists on seeing the paperwork before offering any assistance, Strait took a more flexible approach. They proceeded with building the structure without initially having the IPA or IRC, and later on, they managed to obtain the necessary documents. And with the help of a generous sponsor, the Kandagapma Women's Business Group opened up an account to deposit the money that would come from their sales. Tina elaborated on the effectiveness of the FTT compared to their conventional smoking technique. Previously, they would arrange 60, 70 or 40 pieces of fish on wire racks for smoking. On the other hand, the FTT's two wire sides allow them to accommodate 109 fish on each side, resulting in 218 fish being processed in a single day. She begins the smoking process at 6 o'clock in the morning and completes it by 12 to ensure the fish are thoroughly dried. Then she can begin a new batch. With this method, she can smoke nearly 432 fish in a day, making the entire process much more efficient and less labor-intensive. In contrast, the old method required her to constantly attend to the fire all day to ensure that the fish were cooked properly. Okay, I'm going smoke him. I'm going to go to the test him to come, come. Also come test him. Test him all so long, I'm going to promote him to the FTT. Oh, man. No, so dry stand up on the best dryer. I'll talk, I'll talk on the dryer, but I'm going to the fish. So I'm going to smoke him to the fish, and the fish is taste plan him. Okay. Now I'm going to go to the market too long. Uh, I'm going to plant the fish on the same good. Okay, I'm going to go to the market. My prick. Okay, people are going training blown cacao, vanilla, fish. But this little group has stopped inside, let the slab, time blown, so because all the fish all look the same. I must have buy him. I have a black sim, but I have to go around. All look like ECC. ECC let us play FTT in a Thomas. Maybe I got two blah, it's kind, first of its kind, blah, carrow up, one blah, and go around. Ah, carrow up. I'm also smoking more salt water fish, salt water. Now, maybe I'm going to be smoking fresh water. But the fresh water, maybe I'm going to go. I'm going to stop. So, finish. She explained the difference between using the FTT and their traditional fish smoking method. With the traditional method, they would have to sell the fish immediately to avoid spoilage, often leading to losses. However, with the FTT, the smoked fish can last for a few months preventing spoilage and ultimately saving them money and effort. Suppose no God, we need this step. Fire go number one number one. Now we'll fish and we'll cook good. Now side side in the cook good. Morning we'll check it some of us out. We'll grab me rouse him. Now when I'm playing dry good, I'm going to hot him the next day. Now I'm dry good, I'm going to pick him the basket. You know, the basket is going to pull up too. I'm not going to take him. But peace will plant it. So I'm going to smoke the fish. I'm going to go play and blow all play style. FTT me karma be em me ken go so me ga em or mama ga baby or sa mama start putin pis karma be go work work pre baby work in laundry or thinking blong stuff fish stop or neighbor ya or kam kam check him tan him karma be ken lit blong em or go back in em or do hotel before style before no ga time bomb just style morning go have known elison mombi a dedicated member of the kandagapma women's business group enthusiastically emphasizes the remarkable practical benefits of the ftt dryer Hailing from the village of Biwat, Ellison vividly describes how her husband's village faces challenges in accessing fish, resulting in a diet mainly comprised of sago and greens. Currently calling Engoram her home, Ellison has been unable to visit her village. The introduction of the NTT dryer has profoundly revolutionized their fish processing methods. Previously, they relied on the traditional smoking technique which entailed laboriously arranging fish on wire racks. This method often resulted in inconsistent and inadequate drying of the fish. The FTT dryer has assured in a new era of efficiency and effectiveness in fish processing 
simplifying the entire process and ensuring reliability. Now this is dry I'm going to work with fish. Lo skelim lo mi mi skelim mosem long side blow fish blow dry mosem ya tambla time em sa ad na ino sa dry good em blow sa take time lo can smoke em one blow week namba out em dry em strong now you miss a car na travel go em long blow time na this lai em one blow date as well na you me dry mosem avi no em blow carim na em blow carim go em blow go salim em um, so me blog go good as a road that's all. Road them good plan. Now you me go and fish them so save. Now you say Osalim good. Next see money. Now road them no good plan now. Car them. Um, Uka kalab kalab plant all potholes now. Um, fish a bagger up. Some of the time you say oh, okay, lost. Like time you got bit like bagger up the like road. The FAO's support extends beyond providing the FTT technology. It includes comprehensive training on producing high quality safe smoked fish connecting women with markets, and teaching them how to effectively manage and grow their businesses. Tina's leadership and the group's success have turned the Kandagapma Women's Business Group into a model of empowerment and economic development in the region. As the Strait program enters its final year, its initiatives continue to make a lasting impact. The success of the Kandagapma Women's Business Group is a testament to the program's effectiveness in fostering sustainable development and empowering women in Papua New Guinea. The Strait Program, empowering change, fostering resilience, and creating a brighter future for the Sipic region.